Hi everyone, this is Spencer with Case Proof, and in today's video I'm going to be going over a brief overview of how to set up coupons. So to start off, you're going to want to click the Add New next to the coupons, and MemberPress will automatically generate a custom coupon code. Um, for your coupons, it's kind of just a bunch of letters and numbers, so you can edit that to be whatever you want. Um, you can make it something generic like that, or you can make it a complex system of numbers, or just leave the generic one there, depending on your needs. For the coupon options, you have a couple of cool things that you can do. You can offer discounts based on percentage or a set amount based on your local currency that you set in your options tab of member press. For this one I'm just going to set a percent. So that can be anything from 0 to 100. If you set the percent to 100 percent that means that the user will basically just get access for free. Now the discount applies differently based on the um, membership that you have it set for. For example with the recurring uh, membership the coupon will be applied for each transaction that's made. So if it's a monthly, then that means for this example, the user would get 10% off each monthly transaction. Now if it's a one-time membership, then the coupon will be applied obviously to just that one-time payment. Here you can set the number of times the coupon can be used by individual users. This does not indicate how many times it can be used, for example, in a recurring transaction situation. So if I set this to 10, what that means is that 10 individual customers can use that coupon after which it will expire and no one will be able to use it. Not that one person can use it and then after 10 monthly recurring subscription transactions it will expire just based on individual users. If you have a trial period for your membership you can override that trial period here. So this doesn't really apply for one-time payments because they don't offer um, trial period. So this will just be ignored if you have it set and if it's applied to a one-time um, um, transaction. But if you have a recurring, a recurring subscription, then this will override that trial period if you have one set there. So you can set the amount of days that the trial is for and the cost. Now, this simply overrides a trial period. If you just want this for that purpose, to override a trial period as that kind of a coupon, but you don't want to offer a discount after the trial period, then make sure that you set the discount up here to be zero. That way, you're only overriding the trial period. For this coupon, I'm, gonna leave, I'm not going to enable that, though. You can set an expiration, too, for your coupon. This means that whatever day you set this to be in the future, that after that day, the coupon will no longer be valid and no one will be able to use it. So, two things. whether it, what, Whatever happens first, the coupon being used the amount of times you have set, or it reaching an expiration date, after those two things, the coupon will no longer be valid and no one will be able to use it. You can set who can use the coupon or what memberships can apply the coupon in this menu here. So all of your memberships will pop up here. And using the control key or the command key if you're on a Mac will allow you to customize that for each coupon. So I'm going to go ahead and publish that coupon. And if I go back to my coupons tab, you'll be able to see kind of the rundown of, of that coupon. So here you've got the code for the coupon, when it was created, the amount of dis the discount that you're providing. If there's a trial period, then it will show up here. When it expires, if you have one set, and again, here's that usage count. Member Press will count the amount of times that the coupon is used by your individual users. So you can kind of get a, uh, a summary here of how many times it's been used and what memberships it applies to. So that's the basic setup of the coupon. But after or before making a coupon, you need to make sure that in your Options and Account tab of Member Press, you have enabled this option here that enables a coupon field on membership registration forms. That way your users can actually use the coupon when they're registering for your memberships. If this option isn't enabled, then they won't see the coupon field and they won't be able to apply the membership. So I hope that helps you as you go through creating your first coupon.
coupon. Um, and I hope you enjoy using MemberPress. Have a great day.